like data plus roughness and hardness then transparency the state of the matrix and then afterwards the next point is that the solubility in water and last point is that flotation in the water so let us start our lesson sorting materials into the groups so in this lesson there are the properties of a material are given some of the materials are there that can soluble in water that means they are dissolved in water some of the solid things are there which are dissolved in the water that all are called as the water soluble substance for example sugar and all type of the salts that can dissolve into the water so because of that these all are the soluble substances but some of that are non soluble in water so that all are called as the insoluble substances like a rock material any type of the chalk any type of the wooden thing that is not dissolved in the water so because of that these all are a insoluble in water and that is called as the insoluble things पाण्यात विरघळणारे आणि पाण्यात न विरघळणारे पदार्थ अशा दोन प्रकारामध्ये वर्गीकरण केले जातं काही वस्तूंचा किंवा काही गोष्टींचा तर ज्या वस्तू पाण्यामध्ये विरघळतात उदाहरणार्थ साखर मीठ ह्या सर्व ज्या आहेत त्या पाण्यात विरघळणाऱ्या गोष्टी आहेत म्हणून त्यांना पाण्यात विरघळणारे पदार्थ असं म्हणतात आणि जे पाण्यामध्ये विरघळू शकत नाही त्यांना आपण पाण्यात न विरघळणारे पदार्थ असं आपण म्हणू शकतो तर ते कुठले आहेत तर दगड असू द्या किंवा एखाद्या लाकडे वस्तू असू द्या किंवा कोणत्याही प्रकारचे सॉलिड थिंग असू द्या जे पाण्यात विरघळू शकत नाही प्लास्टिक पाण्यात विरघळू शकत नाही तर ह्या सगळ्या ज्या आहेत त्या पाण्यात न विरघळणाऱ्या वस्तू आहेत सो बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ वॉटर इन सोल्युबल सबस्टन्स then uh, next point is that miscible and immiscible things miscible means what those liquids which are dissolved into the water that all are called as a miscible for example alcohol and vinegar these two things are that which are liquid in nature but they can dissolve into the water so because of that they are called as the miscible substances or miscible things manje je kahi liquid padarth ahe te paani madhe virghu shakta tanna apan paanyat virghanarya gosti asha gostina apan miscible asa manu shakta those things which are liquid in nature but not dissolved into the water that all are called as the immiscible substances so for example oils like a petrol diesel then or any edible oil it is a not dissolved into the water but that all are liquid in nature so because of that these things are called as the immiscible things so like that there are four categories are there by which we are making that separate separate groups of that all things which are soluble in water non soluble that is called as the insoluble in water miscible in water immiscible in water so like that all examples we are discuss about uh, that properties of a material related to the solubility in water next point is that flotation some of the things are there that can float on the water 
so that is called as the floated things so this property is called as the flotation of the material that things which can float on the water that is called as the a floating material and which is not floating on the water that things are called as the material so that uh, for example sponge it can float on the water so because of that it is a floating material but like a rock stones that are not floating on the water they can sink into the water so because of that these are sink material so like that all we are discussed about the properties of a matter or material so in this session what we are discussed we are discussed about the definition of the classification and what are the importance of the classification then what we are discussed next we are discussed all about the properties of the material which are the properties like a luster then hardness and softness roughness and smooth smoothness then next point we discuss about the transparency then state of the matter then unless uh, uh, next point we discuss uh, that is the solubility in the water and last property we discuss that is flotation so like that all we are discussed in the lesson about the next lesson we are coming into the next video up to that stay home stay safe stay tuned thank you very much